The thing I love about Rust is that there are so many different ways to play the game. Everyone has their own fun doing their own specific thing, but over my hours, I've tried almost all of them. This has led me to realize that my favorite way to play the game is to find the biggest group on the server and mess with them until they come to raid me. This video, I found a group and did anything and everything I could to get under their skin, but not everything went perfect for me. But I found a few key moments that would lead this group to wanting my base raided multiple times. Hope y'all enjoy this story. As always, the video starts right out on the beach, but I noticed pretty quickly that there was a clan down in the desert selling a bunch of high tier weapons and tees, so I headed straight there to scout them and see if I was going to be able to make a play on them. Real quick boys, just want to thank you for all the likes and comments on the most recent videos, especially the comments, I tend to read them all. And I noticed about 90% of you aren't subscribed, so if you do enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks boys. After farming up a little bit, I decided to go put down a 1x2 only about one tile from their main base for quick access to and from it. At this point, I wasn't sure if they were online or not, so I decided to go investigate and see what I was up against. Barely too slow. Now from what I could see, these guys had turrets wrapping their base for almost around a tile and a half. But there was one area that I was able to sneak in and it happened to be right next to the cloth base that this guy was building. So I decided to go back, craft some ladders and see if I can make the play. Is that shooting me? Who did he just kill? I didn't see anyone. Hey, man, stinky man, inside the man. How much sulfur for our um, our red berry cone? Where does this kid live? Now being the little spy I was, I overheard a trade being planned 7k sulfur for a red berry clone, so I tracked this guy back to his base and tried to intercept him on his way to deliver it. <laughs> no way, no way, no way. Hey, yo, I'm gonna move. No, I can't, I can't, I can't live this close to him. Knowing what I know now, the group on the left who owned the farm base were about five to six deep, while the group on the right were only a duo. They also had allies around the area, so together I was gonna be going up against at least eight plus people. Knowing this, I felt it was best for me to move before they came hunting for their sulfur back and found me. 
This new build spot though was going to be perfect. I had an overview of a whole area in which they ran constantly and would hopefully be able to use that to my advantage considering the numbers I was going to be up against. And most importantly, I didn't move that far away. I wanted to keep close just so I could keep messing with them. Since my new base was now secure, I figured it was about time to go out and try and make some plays to hopefully build my arsenal. Yo! Oh. Oh shit. I definitely kind of potatoed there. Oh! Oh my god! What the hell? Now unfortunately, this guy right here was gonna be an issue. He himself was pretty innocent, but he lived right below me on the water, and I didn't know at the time that he was allied with both groups I was gonna be continuing to mess with, and now he knew exactly where I lived. Shortly after this fight, nighttime came around, and I figured this would be my best chance to go investigate their farm a little bit more thoroughly. Dude, are these guys dumb? No way, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to clone them. Whatever. I'm just gonna pick them all. Harvest all. Oh my god. That's so much cloth. Dude, 4K cloth? No! I got a dip! 4K cloth and I got god clones? Yeah, why GTD? Not that I really need them. Now instead of taking this massive W as it was, I decided I wanted to go back, because it was so dark I couldn't tell if I missed anything or if I was able to access anything more. But little did I know, this would be my biggest mistake. It isn't open. Oh, they see me! Where do you live, bro? Where do you live? <laughs> oh! Did they see me? Oh! Now fortunately enough, I don't think that scrap heli saw me. But that didn't save me, cause you know who ratted me out? Just who I thought it would. No way.
No way. No way. Th he's talking to that guy. They're trying to find me. Nah. No shot. They're trying to find me right now. Ah, no. Here he comes. Now here, I managed to put myself in an almost unwinnable situation. I still only had three guns, a broken Tommy, a pump shotgun, and a semi. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to defend against multiple people with just that, and no meds. So I went for the Hail Mary, and I tried to relog because they were just sitting at my door, and I was going to come out with a new name in hope they thought it wasn't me. And I'm just going to say now, I don't think it worked, because only a couple minutes later, this is what I saw. Oh. What is that? What is that? Not what I think it is, right? Do I see a white bulkit and another guy running right towards my base? Okay, one's full dead. Man, it's so scuffed. Now fortunately, this first time around, I managed to scare them off a bit, but I knew it wasn't gonna be long before they came back. And this time, they came back with more people. Okay, they ran. Maybe I can get my body. They're coming back. Maybe I can wait for them. That guy's ass, but I'm dead. They're double launching. My bed's on timer. There's not much to do there. <laughs> Now it was pretty short lived, but there's not much I could really do there. I kind of saw it coming, but these guys had some interesting things to say to me. For the little that I did do, they were excessively mad. So I figured I had to run it back. <laughs> You're so pissed. Now I still had some bags in the area, but not to my surprise, I ran back to my base. It was completely full griefed with not a single item left in the boxes. So I decided to just run it back and restart and head to outpost. Now after farming the road for a bit, I had enough scrap to drone a Thompson, buy a jackhammer, and just start working on getting all the necessities for putting up my new base. I also built a little further from them this time, just so if I did get raided again, I would have had a chance to get my base built up and maybe defendable. We got everything we need. I decided to build my base up quite a bit, popped a tee and farmed a couple boxes of farm, but then I heard them doing a raid near my old base, so I decided to go counter, and I'm very glad I did. Oh, it's up on the mountain, yep. Yeah. 
quiet, 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 quiet. Dude, can I get those? Can I get those binocs? Please? I'm gonna try and make a play on them. Love you. Thank you. That guy's looking right at me already. Oh. I think he snapped, little bro. Oh no, they're looking... Okay, what? These guys are looking straight at me. Dude, no fucking shot. No fucking shot. I heard about that. Oh, he's definitely called my ass out. I mean, I could have got way more if I would have known how far they were, but I take this as kind of a win. Uh, AK coming back. Okay. I stash here. I kill this guy and then I run. That's them. Maybe it wasn't. Now this was perfect. I managed to make these guys angry and little did they know that it was the same exact guy from less than an hour before just because I changed my name on him again. After banking all the extra kits that I got from him, I decided to go back and see what I could get up to. Because after what they did to my other base, I had no desire except to mess with them. No. No. Oh, 
What are the odds I can go deep here? Hey, let me out and I won't. I'll All let right, you keep I your clones. I'll, I'll let you keep you. your clones. Okay. You can take the teas and berries. Please don't break my stuff for these one. No, although this guy was part of the reason I got raided in the first place, he didn't really seem like a bad guy. He just seemed like he wanted to farm and mind his own business. So I decided to give him back all his clones and just decided to move on and only focus on the other groups. But I, I do not like them. Ah, uh, alright. Yeah, they, they can be me sometimes. Yeah. I'm not really allied with them. They don't even have me off on their turrets. I, I just come with them to rage sometimes. Alright, I get it, bro. Well, yeah. sorry, sorry, but... Have a good one. You too, bro. That just gives me info. So they're not really allied. But he was the one that got me raided. Because he, he told them where I lived. Oh. This one's in a whip. Might be able to catch him. No way. Getting some lucky timing and killing those farmers, I managed to get a few more garage doors down in my base, securing it even more, but then I just went straight back to the mission and headed right back over to their farm for round two. Look, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't think it's so foggy, I don't know if he Oh shit, he's right here. He's at that hot water blue or hot air balloon. Now this run didn't go quite as planned, but it sure made them mad that sparked up quite the chat conversation asking me to drop cords. Usually I would have, but he said he was just gonna offline me, so I figured I'd let them just find me naturally, and it wasn't gonna take him too long. God dude. I know what's gonna happen if I take this, but I'm ready to get raided. Well. I got it. It's one HP. It's down right here. Oh my god, that's pretty freaking good.
He's probably distracting me. There's probably plenty more coming. Yep, that's him. They know. Oh, those rockets are huge. And the incense ammo is huge. I know, he's so pissed. He even had the jump on me. To be fair, he really should have killed me there. We got the gang. Ow. Killed that guy. But they have two holding my roof. After this heli fight, these guys ended up door camping me for a little bit, so it was pretty much certain that they knew where I lived. Knowing this, I put up a scuff little compound and then had to get off because it was getting really late, but I stayed sleeping in base so I'd be able to hear if I was getting raided. Honestly, I woke up day two genuinely surprised that I wasn't offline, but since I wasn't, I set out to investigate a decayed base nearby. Considering the space still had loot in it from the looks of it, and I hadn't used any of my sulfur yet, I decided to craft up some explo and come back and blow the door into main loot. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. Oh shoot, I need that. Since my quick little raid was finished, I set out to see if I could annoy another group in the area who at the time I didn't know were the ones that countered me on the hill outside my base at Headley. They had a whole island walled off and they were pretty active, so I went searching for them. This was because if the Desert Clan wasn't going to raid me, then maybe these guys would. One dead. Rock cat is for you, bro. Be ready, I ain't roof guy. camping you. Ready, bro. 
Now it seemed I had two targets on my back, but I wanted to make sure that the desert base didn't forget about me overnight, so I headed straight over to their base and started doing anything I could that would annoy them and possibly get them to come raid me. Because at the end of the day, they were toxic and I didn't like them. Now looking back, this might look a little petty, but these guys were just offlining everyone the whole wipe and talking constant trash in chat, even to solos, so I felt no remorse for it. Now I wish I could say there was some crazy ending to this wipe, but this was one of the last times I really saw these guys. I went back a day later and their farm still wasn't fixed, and as for the island group, they ended up wanting nothing to do with me as their focus was on a different group at the time. This left me with really no desire to play considering both of them didn't want to raid me, so I ended up just giving my loot away in chat to two different guys a couple days later since I really didn't feel like farming upkeep anymore. And you know what? I considered it a win because they ended up not getting any of their loot back, and one of their main guys that I was messing with ended up just saying he was quitting in chat, so I took that as a win. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the story aspect of this video. It was, it was something new than what I usually do. But if you did, make sure to give it a like because I really appreciate it. And comment if you haven't already. Much love, boys.